All right, so some of the queries that we received while enrollments were related to prerequisites for this course. Now, again, this course is for an operations professional. Uh, when you say operations professional, who, you know, who do we mean, right? Uh, so it could be anyone who is who's into system administration, who can be operations engineers, can be networks or Linux administrators, uh, could be site reliability engineers. So any of these profiles uh, match the operations, uh, IT operations, what we talk about. Uh, anybody who is involved in the system side of things, it's a systems professional who deal with uh, systems at scale, networking, uh, databases, and uh, so on and so forth, right? So it's meant for you if you uh, if you are an operations professional, right? So that's what uh, this course is meant for. Now, if you are not an operations professional, but you still want to get into the DevOps, uh, this is what I would advise, advise you and uh, even if you are an operations professional, if you really want to know what all you should know uh, apart from what you will learn in the class is, uh, you know, uh, so if you want to understand uh, those topics, you should definitely look at a couple of certifications that I have already mentioned in the mini degree brochure. Uh, one is the LPI certified Linux uh, professional, LPI C1, uh, that exam. Uh, there's another one by Linux Foundation related to Linux uh, administrator. Uh, so you should look at those certification exams. I will uh, put a link in, in, along with this video. And uh, we have also created a Trello board with all the topics that you should know about as part of the prerequisites that I just mentioned. Now, if you look at the Trello board, which is uh, the link for which you will find along with this video, uh, if you look at this Trello board, what we mention are just the topic names. Uh, we are not going to give you everything or the resources. Uh, it's, you won't find it there. Uh, you just mainly find the topic names and then you could go uh, and do all your own research on uh, you can find information that say uh, there's a file system and the commands that we have mentioned. So you can go and find the man pages for the commands directly or you can go and look for the resources on YouTube or Google. Uh, just Google for it and uh, you know you if there are some links and resources mentioned on one of the lists there uh, either you could use those or you can do all your own research uh, the idea is whatever you see in the trailer board uh, are the topics that we think are essential for you uh, to be a good operations professional and uh, those are the things those are the concepts and the topics that you should know about and um, it's up to you and some of the topics are related to let's say I've just listed uh, let's say just uh, application frameworks like Node.js and Python and Django. Now if you look at those, those you just find out some sample application related to let's say Node.js or Django, set it up. Uh, you don't have to get into the coding part of it as an operations professional but you should be involved in uh, how do I set up, how do I install, how do I administer, how do I maybe um, set up the DB and connect it with application. Those are the aspects that you should know about. And then this is what you will eventually automate with some of the tools like uh, Ansible or Dockerize, right? So that's what you essentially end up doing. And when you start using any of the, even the automation tools and the frameworks, you must know about the base commands that Linux has and so on and so forth. So that's the reason why this is what we consider as a foundation to be a operations, a solid operations professional um, and then later on a DevOps professional, right? So do have a look at that. Uh, those are the prerequisites that I would, um, you know, I have just listed down and uh, you should get the, you know, uh, receive the resources and the links along with this video. And that should help you get started your journey towards uh, operations and then a uh, successful DevOps professional. With that, I'm going to sign off. All the best and thank you for watching this video.